One of the smartest decisions I ever made as a business owner and a content creator was to begin building an email list. So around 10 years ago when I started blogging and putting out YouTube videos, for some reason I knew that starting to build an email list was important. I don't know where I heard that from, but thank God I did, because now that list is responsible for turning my no-name blog and YouTube channel into a seven-figure business. Now these days, everyone's talking about Instagram or Facebook or whatever hot new social media platform there is, and for good reason. That's where all the people are, but also it's fun. But hear me out, friend. Being on social media isn't enough. Not if you want to build a sustainable business. The secret to both a lasting income and stability is to build and nurture an email list. And today I'm going to give you three reasons why and show you a little bit about how to get that started. If you've already started building an email list, then this will be a big reminder and a push for you to make email list building a priority in your day to day. Your reason number one you want to start building an email list is because with email, there's no middleman. You can interact directly with your audience and interact directly with your customers and potential customers. On social media, there is so much outside of your control. Facebook and Instagram, which are the same company, by the way, can and do change the rules. They change the algorithm. They are in charge of who gets to see your posts and who doesn't get to see your posts. And that algorithm is constantly in flux. So once you figure it out, it changes and moves. Or if you want to reach all the people who've already said, hey, I want to follow you, what you're doing. I like what you're doing. You can't. You have to pay Mark Zuckerberg to ensure that those who actually requested to see your stuff even see your stuff. With an email list, it's your list. You own the list. They've given you permission to email them. Of course, they can unsubscribe at any time if they no longer want to receive your emails. That's the beauty of it. But it goes from you directly to their inbox. Their inbox is where they are every day anyway. Their inbox is where they have to be for boring stuff like their bills, to pay their mortgage, to keep up with their grandma, but it's also where they hear about things that they're interested in. We don't think email is sexy, we don't think it's current, but think about you and your patterns. Do you have an email address? Do you check email? Do you see things in your inbox that you respond to? Now, yes, you have a lot of spam in your email, and yes, there's a lot of email that you don't want. None of us want more email, but that's irrelevant. How we feel about it is irrelevant to how we actually use it and operate. And everybody is in their inbox at some point, and there are no email gods, as it were, who determine which people can see or not see our emails. If I send an email, it goes to my people's inboxes. That direct line of communication is why email marketing is still the number one driver of sales online, more so than social media, more so than organic search, paid search, it is the number one driver of sales. If you build your business on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you like to live, you got to just know that you are playing in someone else's sandbox. They make the rules. So it might be working for a time and it might play a part in your business. I'm not saying it's irrelevant to your business. I'm just saying it's not the most important thing because you don't have control. The email, however, you have control over. So direct communication with your audience is the goal. Reason number two you should begin building an email list is that collecting email addresses from the people that land on your site or follow you on social media or whatever gives you a curated list of warm, targeted leads. These are people who are statistically more likely to buy from you whatever you're selling than the casual follower on social media. And the reason is simple, right? Collecting an email address takes work. It's the beginning of a more in-depth relationship. Social media is great for lurking, right? And stalking and just playing voyeurism. I can look at what you're doing from afar and just keep up with you. It doesn't require anything of me other than I click follow or subscribe to your YouTube channel or like or whatever, right? So it's one way. It's like, I'm just gonna hang out back here and watch what you're doing. If I'm on your email list, that means I have given you something personal. I have given up my email address so you know how to get in touch with me more directly. 
We know email is more effective. That's why we're so hesitant to give out our email address, right? You see where I'm going with this? So those who have given up their email address have done it for a reason. We'll get to that in a minute. They've done it for a reason. There's something that they want and they're willing to give their email address up in exchange. And so someone who's willing to give you their email address for something that you are offering is someone who is really interested in what you're doing. They have taken the step from the fly on the wall to, hey, I, I want to have a relationship with you. I may not buy anything from you, but I, I want to at least hear from you more directly and be more in your world. So what we've done, if we're building an email list, is curated that list of smaller but more targeted leads. That becomes very important if you ever hope to sell anything. Which leads me to my third and final reason why you need to build an email list. And it's because selling via email is way more effective than selling on social media. And it's because selling via email is private. It's behind closed doors. When you sell via email like I do, as opposed to selling publicly on your website or on social media, it allows you to keep your public persona and your public offerings the free ones. Now, this is good for both parties involved. This is good for you as the business owner. This is good for your audience. So online to the world, my resources, whether it's Recording Revolution or this one, it's free content. All you can really find is my free stuff. That's the main thing that you see. That's the, all that I'm sharing on social media is this free video and this free guide. And check this out. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Take it, take it, take it. It is free. And that builds up a healthy dose of goodwill. That builds up an opportunity for content marketing and traffic generation and, and all this stuff that's good for me and it's good for my audience because they benefit and it's not awkward, it keeps it real clean and nice and neat. But when I sell, I sell behind closed doors through my email list. And this is good for me, not only because I don't have to blast the world with what I'm offering, because most of them aren't interested. I only alert the people who have already said I'm pretty interested in you, remember, the warm leads. So I'm only gonna really engage the people that are probably more interested anyway. And then two, it allows me to select and have better control over who receives what offers. When you have an email list, you can email only the people who have clicked on a certain link in a previous email or opened a certain email and shown some interest in a certain topic. Or you can email out different offers or try out different bonuses and price points all through the comfort of your private exchange via email that doesn't have to be public. So it really allows you as the content creator and the business owner a chance to try things out because you need to try things out. You might need to play with a price. That's a thing called price elasticity. Price can really expand and contract until you find the sweet spot. It's either more or less or right where you are that's really the best price for that product or service. So you can try all these things out in private by email without having to have a public thing that's for sale all the time. So real quick, how? How, Graham, do you build an email list? What's the best way to do it? Well, you're gonna need a couple of tools. One is something like MailChimp. I've covered that in a video here already on how to use MailChimp to grow your business. MailChimp is a email list builder or provider that's free, which is, that's what I love about it is it's free for up to 2,000 people on your list, at least the last time I checked. So you can get started with this tool. It can collect email addresses automatically. And when you go to send an email out, it'll go out to everybody on your list. You don't have to do this through Gmail or keep an address book of people's email addresses. It, it handles it all automatically and allows people to unsubscribe at will. But you can't just ask people for their email address. And I think that's a big misnomer. Nobody wants to give out their email address. You need to offer them something super valuable, something irresistible. And we call this something a lead magnet. A lead magnet is simply something that's more amazing that they want, that they would be happy to give their email address for. A lot of times it's an additional piece of content. Maybe it's an exclusive video or a PDF download or a cheat sheet or a podcast that's a private podcast that they can download and have access to. Something that they definitely want and you give it to them if they give you their email address. So it's a healthy, happy exchange. And now that you have their email address, you can reach out to them with your other free articles and videos or your podcast episodes and let them know about those. You can obviously pitch your products, which is gonna actually help generate revenue. And you can also use your email list now to gain valuable feedback from your audience and learn about them and learn what they want more directly so you can better serve their interest. Now, 
For the sake of time, I wanted to be able to teach you a little bit more about how to build an effective lead magnet, but this video would go super long if I did that. So what I wanted to actually do was give you a snippet of one module in my course, Automatic Income Academy, and in that module, I'm talking about how to build websites that convert and actually put money in your pocket. And in that video, there's a section on how to build and think about lead magnets. And I want to just give you this snippet absolutely free. Think of it as a sneak peek, but I think it will be helpful to you. So you can watch this and get your wheels turning and come up with at least one really mouthwatering lead magnet for you and your audience that will help you begin building and maximizing your email opt-ins, which is how many people are subscribing to your email list, so that you can start, build, and grow your business. So to watch this sneak peek snippet of my Automatic Income Academy course, the section on how to maximize your email opt-ins and build a powerful lead magnet, just go to the link below the video here or go to grahamcochran.com slash email. Put the link here in the video. Again, it's in the description box below. Download that video as my gift to you and put it into practice and start building your email list today, whatever you do. Even if you don't have a product to sell, it's even more impressive that you start building your email list. The point of the list is to have a curated audience so that when you do have something to sell, you can sell directly to them and see more success. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on another video real soon.